7pm on Saturday evening and 7am on Sunday morning, Tasmania Police were investigating numerous motor vehicle related crimes that have occurred in the Greater Hobart area. Uh, fence locations range between Hobart, Sandy Bay, across to Rokeby and up through the northern suburbs through uh, Claremont, Austin's Ferry, Grant and Bridgewater and Gagebrook. As a result of those incidents, which relate to 20 to 25 vehicles at this stage, uh, numerous amounts of damage uh, has occurred. That's included vehicles being set on fire, properties stolen from those vehicles and properties removed from the owner's, owner's property and located elsewhere. We're making numerous inquiries in relation to that. Uh, the public has been of great assistance so far and we urge that they continue to provide information for us. Of interest to us is a red 1994 um, Subaru Liberty station wagon which was located in the Bridgewater area uh, and has been recovered by us. So we're seeking any information from members of the public who may have seen that vehicle acting suspiciously and three males uh, that were wearing hooded tops uh, in those areas between those times. Why is that vehicle in particular of interest? Was it so it was seen with men in it? Or? Yes, that vehicle was seen on uh, four to five different scenes uh, with witnesses describing that vehicle and its occupants uh, very well. Is this something, uh, we've been hearing reports of cars being stolen for the last few weeks. Um, do you think it's related or? No, uh, Saturday and Sunday morning's incident was uh, very much out of uh, character for the Greater Hobart area. Uh, whilst we do obviously have uh, stolen motor vehicles uh, that occur, uh, the actual volume and the amount of vehicles uh, damaged and stolen that evening was very much out of the ordinary. We've, um, there was, six months ago there was a similar incident with uh, a state of cars being set on fire and stolen. Uh, do you think they're at all related or? Not at this stage, no. Um, so, tra tra tracking three offenders, could you describe any more detail for the public? Or? The three males we believe to be responsible for the majority of the offences are aged between 15 and 25 years. Um, average height and build, it's mainly slim build, um, and wearing uh, tops, uh, hooded tops. What do you recommend the public does? Uh, what can they be doing to help? We'd strongly urge a lot of target hardening with, uh, with uh, people's vehicles, which includes parking their vehicles uh, off street if possible, parking them in areas where there's plenty of street lighting or sensor lighting, that their cars have security alarms uh, and wheel locks attached and that certainly no property is left by the owners uh, clearly visible inside the car, which is uh, very appetising to the offenders. Detective, is this opportunistic? Uh, it appears that the incident from Saturday and Sunday night is a mixture of both. Uh, some appear to be profit motivated where the offenders gained the vehicle or property from inside the vehicle, and some of it appears uh, just to be pure uh, madness, and there's no rhyme or reasons to, as to why they've actually burned some of those vehicles. Just on that point of what's been found in the vehicles, there's been a lot of high value property left in people's cars, hasn't there? Yes, there has. Uh, on one occasion there was a significant amount of diving related equipment, uh, some computer related equipment and some sporting equipment such as golf equipment. So we urge anyone who gets offered cheap diving gear, sporting gear, electronic equipment, to contact us uh, as soon as possible. Um, how much are those objects worth? Uh, we've estimated at this stage between the value of the cars and the property stolen from it in excess of uh, $50,000 at this stage. We're currently collating all those reports and that figure may well change. How are they burning the cars? Uh, it appears at this stage that uh, purely uh, an accelerant's been set fire to one of the, uh, poured on one of the seats and that's set fire to. So they're smashing the window, pouring the petrol in, lying on fire? Yes. Have members of the public spotted them doing this? Because that must be quite like, visible. Yes, we've received numerous reports and uh, information from members of the public that have heard these offenders uh, whilst they've been committing some of the crime. And it's their early notification to police and their response to us as it's helped us with our further inquiries. Um, the offences are quite spread out um, throughout the Hobart area. Is that, does that worry you that they're not just specifically targeting one suburb or two suburbs? There actually is more than one suburb that they're hitting? The actual, uh, I suppose, the broadness of the area is not the concerning matter to us. It's, it's more the, um, the actual volume and the amount of the offences that have occurred and the potential dangers to, uh, to members of the public and residents, of, and especially children in those areas that can come into contact with those evil fires. So it's three males that you're after who are responsible for the majority of the crimes? Yeah, we believe so. And it's about 50 grand in damages and some goods? Yes, I'd say that would be a minimum at this stage. Thank you. Thank you. Just stay there for us, please.